to say the least, this is unpatriotic and shameful. It is because if he gathered Ghanaians, call it Ghanaians in the academia or Ghanaian professionals, Ghanaian businessmen, and he talked about matters of concern to him, I have no problem. He's a former head of state and therefore a very important opinion leader. But to gather foreigners and try to paint Ghana black is just not acceptable. What is he really after? What does former President Mahama want to portray? Why does he want to paint Ghana black when indeed there is nothing to paint black? There was some violence. It didn't happen in the polling station. It happened as it were in the parliamentary candidate's house, away from any polling station. And we are yet to know who even shot. Why would you? want this to look like it's a national disaster. There's really nothing, uh, it's not good, and I will never support any such thing. But if you look at what has happened in previous by-elections in this country, this is nothing more than what had happened earlier. Somebody drove through a crowd in a by-election in the Tiwa. What happened? Of course it does, particularly when he did it with foreigners. Because now these same foreigners are going to look at the work of this commission. And this commission is made up of real top class men of integrity. So I think it undermines the, the work of the commission. But one thing I've heard that I'm very happy about, that the commission is being held in open. and It's being covered by the media life. Therefore, Ghanaians will get to know exactly what happened. When we came from Brazil, he set up a commission under an appeal court judge. And to me, it was the right thing he did. And therefore, for Kufuari to do the same when there was a problem, and for him to condemn it, this is just inconsistency. It's contradictory. Um, unless he didn't understand what he did some time back. If he understood it, Kufuadu is doing the same, and rightly so. People are so disappointed with that comment. Now, I don't believe that people use it to push violence, but he's certainly trying to incite people for violence, but I don't believe people will respond to it. But the president has made all efforts to bring peace to all parts of Ghana finding a solution, a lasting solution between the Abudus and Andanis in Yendi to me was a, a, a very big achievement politically. Well, this is one very key part of this country, a very important kingdom, which was being torn apart by misunderstanding. He did everything he could to resolve it, and he succeeded in resolving it. The committee of the eminent chiefs was not established by him but he continued it to a successful end. And it gives you the nature of a Kufuad, it tells you who he is, he's a go-getter. Kufuad will pursue a matter to its logical conclusion when it's about peace. He is very peaceful and wants to enforce peace wherever he can. So I believe that uh, his actions so far as president in restoring peace where there was violence shows you who a Kufuad is as a person, as a man of peace.